Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you Christmas gift idea which is for frosty flowers. You liked so much my previous video with 8mm Rivoli in the center, that is why I decided to make another one which is similar. Here for this tutorial I use the beads from uh, the Peyote Starter Kit a Beading School by Erika Sandor. Uh, and I will link it down there in description. I will also give links to threads and uh, uh, Delica beads from their website so you could choose and buy your own stuff. Okay, so if you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and to hit the bell button and in this way you won't miss my Christmas wave of tutorials and you will be able to make your gifts for the holidays. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And down there in description you will find a full list of materials, link to my second channel that you could check out as well, uh, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and of course the resources I mentioned that you could buy supplies from. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, and as I told you in the beginning here, I'm using the beads from the starter kit of Beading School by Erika Sandor and I'm using here these 15-0 Delica beads in this metallic color and I used two 11-0 Delica beads from my own stash but down there I'm giving a link to all the Delica beads in their website and you could choose the ones that you like. This is also from the starter kit, this is 8mm Rivoli and I like it because it has a silver, a blue and a white in it and it's perfect for the frosty flower tutorial. These are regular ear wires, you could use any type you like. This is fire line that is 0.005 inches or 0.12 millimeters, and this is also from the starting kit. This is size 11 tulip needle that is from the starting kit as well and I like so much and I'll give links down there to those two separately and here I'm using regular scissors. Okay, so now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up 22 of these white beads. Okay guys, and these are 22 beads, 4 times 5 is 20 plus 2 more, okay, there you see them. Okay, so now guys, what I'm going to do is slide them down almost until the end of my thread, leaving a small tail here, just like this. And now what I want to do is go around through all of those beads in this direction. And I want to make a closed circle. Okay, and now I'm exiting here where my two threads meet and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making a loop and I'm going once and twice through the loop I've made and then I pull and this is called surgeon's knot or half hitch knot and then I will go a few bits away from it just like this Okay, now this is what I have and now I'm going to start my next row with the familiar peyote stitch. This is mosaic beading as I told you in my other video that I'll also link to uh, with 8mm Rivoli bezeling I mean. Okay, so I'm taking one bead, I'm skipping the one that's on my way and I'm going through the following bead. Okay, and I pull. Now I have this, then I'm going to take one more seed bead, skip the one that's on my way and go through the following bead. You see what I'm doing. 
This is the casing that I'm making for my Riboli to fit in. You will see it grow in the process. Okay, one. Skip the next one and go through the following. Again, one. Skip the one that's on my way and go through the following. Okay, guys, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and here I am at my last step where I skip the next one and go through the following. And now this is what I have. And now, guys, what I need to do next is go here to the inner side of my circle. Okay, I'm coming out of this bead here, as you may see, and I'm taking one 15 oh. In this way, I'm stepping up in my next row. I'm taking one 15 oh, which is a smaller size bead. Okay, and I go here. Then I take one more, and I go through the one that's sticking out. Okay, one more, go here. And this, guys, is a really easy and really pleasant row. And I'm going to continue this until the end and I'll show you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and here I am at my last step where I add my last 15 0 from this row. Okay, and don't worry if you feel that you don't have enough space because um, this must go to the center like this, pop up to the center, and in this way uh, they will find their way, the beads I mean. There is a slight curve here, a bend. Okay, so now I'm stepping up in my next row here. through the 15 0 and I'm going to make one more row the same way I showed you but this time I'm going through the 15 0s as I'm exiting from this 15 0 you see here is my thread uh, I'm going through the next 15 0 that's sticking out okay and I pull then I take one more 15 0 go through the following One more. You see what I'm doing here and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys and now I'm finishing this row by adding my last two beads from it. Okay you see this here is the last one and if you feel uh, this row is somehow loose or you don't like the shape you could go around and reinforce it if you want now or at a later stage of your work okay so now what i want to do is go back here from this side which is the back side of my work so this will be the front side and my Rivoli will fit in here but I will put it later inside okay so now here I'm going to start a next row with 15 0s okay I'm taking one 15 0 and I'm going exiting from one of those that are sticking out I'm going through the following that's sticking out okay then I take another one and I go here through the following and another one go here through the following okay and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am at my last step 
where I'm adding my last bead from this row. And as before, I'm stepping up in my next row, which is this row of 15 all that I just added. So I step up in it, you see. From here, adding this one through the white and through here, okay? So now I'm going to take one seed bead and again, as I showed you before, I'm going through the following that's sticking out. It is the same thing that I did from the other side, okay? Then I'm taking one more of those, like this. And you see, as I'm exiting from this one that's sticking out, I'm going through the other one that's sticking out. Okay. I have this now. And now, guys, I think it's time to add the Rivoli. Because later you won't be able to add it. Okay. I'm adding it and pulling. You see how it looks now. Really beautiful. And you see how it looks from this side. Okay. And I'll show you two more times and let you do this by yourself until the end of this row. Okay. I'm taking one seed bead. Going here through the following. Then I'm taking one more and go through the next one that's sticking out. Okay, and now I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last 15 all from this row. And this is the back of my work, this is the front of my work. And now what I do is that I go here through these beads. You see, these are two beads and these here I have one bead, you see. And I'm going through this one. Okay. Now, what I do next is that I take one blue bead and I go through the next white bead. Okay, then I take one more blue bead and again as I'm exiting from this single bead, I'm skipping these two beads that are next to each other and I'm going through the next single one. Okay, then I take again one and go here through the one that's sticking out a little bit, okay? So now finish this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last two blue beads. You see where I'm adding it? Well, doesn't it look cute? <laughs> it's so beautiful. I like those crystals. I'm so happy that Beading School sent me their collection. Okay, so now guys, I'm exiting out of this blue bead and I'm going to take two more blue beads and I will go back in circle through this blue one. And now I have this. In my next step, I'm going to take one white bead and go through the following blue. Don't put too much tension on your work. Just slightly place the beads, okay, two. Go back through the blue, like this, and then add one. Two, go back through the blue and then add one. OK, 
okay now continue this until the end of this row and when i'm ready i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here i am where i'm finishing my work i'm going back through this blue bead just like this i'm adding one white bead here and going through the next blue and when i pull i have this okay and in my next step i'm going through this blue bead I'm taking two blue beads and like in a herringbone stitch, I'm going back here through this one. If you're not familiar with the herringbones, don't, don't worry. This is it. Okay, this is it. Now, in my next step, what I do is that I go again through these two beads in this direction and i take one of those 15 oh silvers okay and i go one more time through those blue beads okay just like this then go in this direction and my goal will be to exit out of the same blue bead and repeat the process okay here i am taking two blue beads to make the herringbone okay stack them above each other okay like this then I go back through this blue and then in this direction through these two blue beads. Now I have this and one silver. Okay, I'm doing this. Oops, I went through this white bead. I don't want to go through it. Okay. And I'll show you one more time what I'm doing. Okay, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last bead from this row. Okay, so now what I do is first reach this part here again the edge okay and now as i'm exiting from this blue bead that is next to the silver what i need to take are five white beads okay i'm taking my five and i'm going here through this blue bead just like this. And don't worry, in the beginning it will look a little bit strange, but don't worry, we'll fix this later with the additional thread pads. Okay. Then I'm exiting out of this blue bead and I'm taking five whites. Okay, five again. And I'm going here through this blue one. OK, 
okay then go again in this direction through these two blue beads okay and take five Okay guys, and I will continue doing this until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last 5 beads from this row. And now what I want to do is go back in this direction. Okay. And here I'm going to add an additional row of silver beads, okay? I'm going through these two beads here in this direction. I'm taking three silver beads. I'm skipping this central bead here and going through the following two beads. Okay. Now I have this. Now what I do next is that I go through this silver here and through the next two beads, two white beads, as you may see. And what I do is that I take three silver beads and as I'm exiting through these two, I'm skipping the central one, going through the white and through the following silver okay this is what i have here i'll show you one more time okay going through two beads skipping the one in the center take three and go through the following two and through this silver here okay okay guys and now i'm going to continue this until the end of this row and when i'm ready i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and i'm here where i'm adding my last three beads from this row okay just like that and now guys i want to make an additional row which is not obligatory but i just want to to make it because i feel my works my work looks better with it okay so i'm going through this silver bead here i'm skipping the one that's in the center and i'm going through the following four beads silver to white silver and when i pull you see how i have this beautiful angle here and i like it and i want to make it uh, if you don't like it just leave it like that okay so i'm exiting out of this one skipping the one and in the center and going through the next four okay then again okay and i'm going to continue this uh, the same way until the end of this row and when i'm ready i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next Okay guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding, where I'm finishing this row. Okay. And what I want to do next is go here at this edge and add my ear wire. Okay. And how I'm adding it. I'm taking it and I want this to be the center of my work guys because this is the back of my Rivoli and this is the front part of my Rivoli that I like so much and I'm going to take one seed bead, my ear wire then one more seed bead and I'm going back in circle through this one at the angle okay 
and then I'm going to reinforce this. Okay guys, and now it's time to make a knot. I'm going through all of those beads in this direction. Making here a loop. Going once, going second time through this loop I've made, pulling. Then what I do is that I go through some beads in this direction to hide my knot. Okay, and now it's time to cut my thread and my earring is ready. Okay guys, and now my frosty flower earrings with 8mm Rivoli in the center are ready. If you like them and you want to see more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when I have new tutorial usually two times a week and you will be inspired often. Uh, you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. Down there in description you will find a link to my second channel where you could get bidding inspiration from as well and a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from that I mentioned link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.